Hello everybody, my name is Anthony. Welcome back to Let's Play Prison Architect. Uh, so, you know, we're still just kind of building our our entire building together. Getting some solitary confinement areas. And hopefully, by tomorrow, we should be able to actually start getting, you know, some prisoners in here. Which would be really nice. We got our yard, we almost got our shower. Hire two guards, hire two chefs. So we're, yeah, hire two cooks. And hire two guards. And as soon as they actually put in the shower head, that'll get us an extra ten thousand dollars, which we're going to need because we only have ten thousand dollars right now. And um, what else? We're six seven percent done uh, unlocking finance. And then after which we can hire an account. Now we also get us another five thousand dollars. Yeah, so we completed our one grant. So now we can actually get another grant. Uh, can we actually get the what? What do we need for cell block A? We also need to unlock finance to even get that. Yes, yeah, so then I'll get that. And then, what other things here? I've heard that this is actually like really bad to get because that takes like, I've heard somebody actually took like 200 days to even finish this um, one grant, so we're just not going to do that at all. At least five guards. That'll get us $10,000 and we already have our staff room. I mean, it's not done exactly, but. Visitation rights, you know, we'll get that one done. So we already have a con room. Uh, our visitation room doesn't have a visitor's table. Uh, so, object visitor's table. Where is that? I mean, it's probably um, highlighted because it's, uh, it's like an objective. And there's our visitor's table. You know, you can just sit in that corner. There. Spend some money on visitor's tables. Uh, build a visitation room. It's already done. But yeah, you need a table for that to finish. Have at least a pool table, have at least two TVs. We'll put those in our common room. Uh, pool table. Now we'll build two of those, because why not? We'll build a few TVs, and I think there's some couches in here too. Yeah, so you know. Build some sofas. That'll be our common room done. Uh, there's no there's no electricity over here, but you know, that's fine. We don't need electricity. I have five phone booths. Well, where are probably the best places to have phone booths? I guess in the yard? Would make a lot of sense. Yeah, there's five right there. And that's gonna get us another five thousand dollars like right off the bat. And there's a look at how many trees are in this this yard. It's a very nice yard. It's probably the best yard I've ever seen ever. Right? If I was in a prison, this would be the prison I'd want to be in. Just look at that yard. Look at that top notch yard. And now we actually probably should actually like start putting some beds, some toilets into this actual um into these cells. So where are our beds? Where are they? That's actually a good question. Where are the beds? There's a sofa, but I don't need a sofa. I need... Oh, they're actually... They're, they're right at the top. Not surprisingly. So we'll put beds all along the back wall here. It's gonna cost us a lot of money because beds are expensive. Can I just like hold down? I can too. That actually makes it a lot easier. And some more beds. And then after that, we need to put toilets in all the rooms as well. Toilets are actually only a hundred bucks. Thought they might be a little bit more expensive, but you know that's not the case. And after this, uh, is that? No, it's not there. There. Flip the toilet around. As soon as we're done all these toilets, we should be able to actually start accepting prisoners. Well, actually, we also need piping, so never mind. We won't be able to actually just like, instantly accept prisoners. Uh, where's the shower heads again? They are. We'll just get the game going. Put some shower heads around. Like, I don't want to spend too much money. I mean, shower heads are only 20 bucks. But I don't want to spend. Too much. Uh, yeah, just kind of put them around. I'm not even gonna put them on the inner walls because we're not gonna have enough prisoners to really use all this. Uh, Bjork, not bureaucracy. Utilities. We are gonna want to get some piping uh, through this building. Yeah, so like that. And then have some large pipes also go, you know, around the back wall here. Yeah, you know, that'll be how our piping works. Even, it's not, it's not the, uh, 
the best way probably to have piping, but it's fine. Have our pipes go like that. We'll have another pipe like that. And yeah, our piping will just kind of go straight to the middle. It already just cuts through that pipe, so fine. And we're also going to need pipes all along the, the walls here. As well as here, because there's supposed to be uh, pipes there as well, or shower heads a little bit later. It's going to look really bad on the screen, but, you know, it's fine. We also need a toilet here. Get our sink connected. And other than that, I think that should be all our piping done. We also we still need to put um, electrical cables places too, though. What needs... Oh, we have TVs here. So, yeah. And other than that, I don't think we need anything else. Look at look at that. Look at those pipes. That's some that's some grade A plum, uh, plumbing right there. So only ten uh, prisoners are actually only ten cells are actually usable right now. Apparently, uh, we probably actually also want more capacitors around here. Like we're already almost halfway through. Each one of these are a thousand bucks. Like, we're, we're always, like, halfway through our power already, so... You know, that would kind of suck if we went through it all. Also, we need, now need to hire an account to get an extra five grand. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Bjorksy, is there anything else we can get? We get a maintenance guy. Eh, we'll get security. That, because that might be important. Also, we need more grants. So, block A. Yeah, and that's, I think, just already done. We'll be done very, very soon if it's not done, like, now. Have a security chief, hire 10 guards, uh, prisoner maintenance? No. Staff well being, I think, will also be a second one. Like, yeah, it's already done. So, block B, I think, we're already like 36% of the way there, and half our cell, or half our things aren't even finished yet. So, what is our capability? 18? Yeah, so let's actually, um, let's open our uh, thing in about 12 hours from now. We'll get some prisoners. We're, we're very backed up in, um, in our supply chain right now, but that's fine. And right now, where are fences? We should probably like fence in the um, you know, the prison right now. And right here, we can put a jail door. And that's a window. That's basically yeah, that's also what I wanted. Just to make sure prisoners can't easily get in and out of the uh, place. Okay. Okay. So they're actually putting in the uh, putting in the pipes now. Awesome. Uh, what's wrong with the staff room? Uh, you need a sofa and you need a drink machine. Okay. So where's our sofa? I actually don't know. I think it was down there, but... Yeah, there it is. Wide sofa. You know, put a few of those in here. And a drink machine. 500 bucks. Do we actually get money back from the drink machine? Well, the, well our staff pays money for it? I kind of doubt it, but, you know, seems like it could happen. We're already back at 62 grand. I don't even know where we got that 62 grand from. Oh, probably from the cell block, right? Yeah, and then build the staff room. In the staff room, once uh, we get our drink machine and our soda in there, we get another 10,000 and raise our prison capacity to 50. Which we'll just use. Like, look, look, look how much extra land we have, and we're already halfway down, or halfway through to 50, once um, all the cells are finished. And what do you mean there's no toilet? Oh, I guess they haven't put the toilet in. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of pipes that need to go. Actually, we're probably going to need more work, man. We have a lot of stuff to get done. That'll get us up to 12. That's, that's an extra 50% profit. Oh, we're, losing, we're losing 400 $400 a day. But, you know, that's fine. We, have, we just don't have any prisoners. Once we get prisoners, this month, this number should go way up. Or maybe it'll, you know, stay down. I don't really know. I mean, hopefully it'll go up. If it doesn't go up, then really, what am I doing with my prison, right? Look how many pipes there are. You got six pipes over here. You got a lot of stuff backed up. This supply, you're, you're carrying like two ingredients, whatever an ingredient is. So basically, you just don't have any pipes in your sink. You might want to fix that a bit. So we got that. Our holding cell should be done. I mean, it's not done because apparently um, some of these, this pipe's just not done. And once that pipe's done, it should be fine, but. Yeah, our sink just does not work. 
And having a non-working sink seems like it could be an issue. So we got a metal detector here. Is there anyone else that we might need a metal detector? Also, wait, we also, uh... Probably want some drains. You know. We'll have some drains in our shower to make sure, you know, the entire building doesn't just flood. Yeah, so our showers are operational. Our sink's good. Actually, it's not good. Why is this sink not good? Did I not build pipes to it? Yeah, no, there's a pipe to it. But maybe it needs to actually be under the sink. Because the toilet's working, but this thing's not. And there's still a lot of electrical cables being installed. And there's what? Two hours? Three hours until prisoners actually get here, so you know. If you guys want to hurry that up a little bit, that'd be great. Why are these two guards in the, in the yard? You have no reason to be over there. Two hours, we're very, very close to the first prisoners. The, uh, the solos are actually the, uh, the wrong way. Right? Yeah, they're just not facing the right direction. Or are they? Let me see this. Uh, large, white sofa. So that's facing towards us. That's facing away from us. Yeah, okay, it's just kind of hard to tell. But those, those, uh, those sofas are facing the right way. Even though, even though it looks like it's facing towards us, they're not. So you got some solitary cells. And so basically what the solitary cells are going to do, basically if anybody does anything bad in our prison, they get sent to solitary. And they kind of live in here for X amount of hours because but they're being punished basically. And we're going to have another 8 prisoners arriving at 8 a.m. tomorrow, just normal prisoners. And everything seems to be doing okay. I think the other prisoners are going to have everything they need. And basically, ah, we got 8 prisoners here. This guy needs to take a piss, but you know, hopefully we get that done as soon as he gets into the cell. So, Arthur Fletcher, he's got really nothing interesting about him. Tony Bohoyo went. Bohoyo was number one uplink agent. Wow, there's some, some spelling errors in this. Bohoyo, Bohoyo was the number one uplink agent when federal agents caught him. He was brought up on multiple criminal charges and that he, and that he fled during parole. Bohoyo claims he was innocent and that the global crime database has been hacked and he has been framed. Duncan J. Like really, we're just looking for interesting uh, descriptions, interesting bios, because a lot of the bios were written by Kickstarter backers. Because um, if you didn't know, this game was actually uh, Kickstarted by. Was it? Was, it was Kickstarted. That's basically all there is to it. So we have eight, we eight, we have eight prisoners now. They should go to their cells. Like, what is our regime? This is basically the what the prisoners are going to do in their time. There's a lot of lockup. There's very little free time. Uh, there's no breakfast. There's only lunch and dinner. So, you know, we're gonna basically change this around a little bit. We're gonna have some shower time in the morning. We're gonna eight, eat from 8 to 9. We're gonna have a lot of free time. Get some free time for here. Have some yard. Uh, because there's work here as well, but I don't think we need to do that. We can have some lockup. Yeah. And then two hours of lockup seems to be fine for how it is. Just gonna, they're gonna have a lot of free time. They should be, you know... Very nice in that regard. They're gonna have what? 12 to 6, 6, 6, 7 hours of sleep as well. I mean, they have lockup before that, so if they want to sleep earlier, I'm pretty sure they can. So 37% of our prisoners have been fed. Wow, this, this area gets flooded very, very quickly. Even just from one guy showering, the entire room filled up. Also, we should probably hire some janitors because it looks absolutely disgusting in here. Uh, how do I hire janitors? <laughs> because it looks awful. You require cleaning. Ah, yeah, I do. That's... I very much do. Oh, so we have to hire a maintenance thing at cleaning. We also need two more office offices. Oh, so I think we can get another like, rant, can't we? Yeah, because we're only on cell block C. Health and well-being, build a medical ward, hire two doctors, hire a psychologist. So I guess we'll do that, too. Can I have no more grants, because you only have two more at a time? I think there's, um, uh... One of these things that allows us to have more grants, but... We don't have that, so... God, we have a, oh, why is this so dark? Why is this so dark? Do we have electricity over there? Not great, eh? Um, utilities. Did we actually build, we did build the electrical stuff over here. So I don't really know why we don't have vision. Are you, are you serious? 
What are what are our guys doing? You. Go over here. Go up. We're making 208, uh, 213 dollars uh, a day, which is nice. But I'm pretty sure somebody already overdosed in our prison. I'm pretty sure that's what that symbol meant. Somebody overdosed already. And we if the, the prison's been open for, you know, half a day. But the cops are just doing absolutely nothing. Maybe we should have got, uh, what's prison policy? Oh, it's prison policy, allowing you to increase and decrease punishments for all misconduct. Okay. But I would just want to know, why can't we not, we can just, we just can't see in our prison. How, somebody's already died! It's been a day! You're already, wow. Our guards are just not doing anything. Who is it? Aaron Fletcher! He's already dead! How? He overdosed. Where did you get drugs on the first day? That does Okay then, yeah. We already someone's already dead. That's good. That's awesome. Like how though? How's that happen? Ugh, God. Also, the theory is just disgusting. When will this be done? Very soon. We actually need to get more, um... More staff rooms. Staff room, staff room, staff room. Not staff room. Uh, offices. Uh, it's kind of completely different. So we can hire, like, maintenance guys. How many guys do we need? So we have a chief, a foreman, and... That's it. Just a chief and a foreman. So we need two more offices. Um, where are offices? Yeah. I already had them selected, but now I can't find them again. Right there. So where can we put those offices? I guess we can put them over here. They need to be 4x4. Four four. I guess I can't um, set it up right now. So we'll just kind of plan for it. Uh, you know, how do we just have objects? 4x4. Four 4x4. Four. Four four. Those will be our two... Two new offices that we're going to build later. And I can't believe, I can't believe someone's already died. Like, that's just insane. It doesn't even make sense. How? I don't know. I don't know where this guy got drugs from. Okay, so that's done. How long is it going to take to clean? Six hours. So by midnight, we'll be able to, have to hire some janitors. And maybe they can keep this place a little bit more organized. We have like 75 grand, so we can actually do a lot. No, not that. Just continue. Like, what do we need? What does, our, what does our prison need right now? I mean, we're not using a lot of power. Our water's fine. We actually, um... I, th I think it would look... Well, what we can do is just, you know, make this place look a lot nicer. You know, get some grass over here. Some of it's already grass, I guess. You know, how about we get some nice white tiles for um, our kitchen? Because that's kind of... You know? That's just what kitchens look like. They have nice white tiles. You know, our warden and our accountant can have some nice wooden floors. I guess white tiles are kind of more of a kitchen thing. Yeah, you know, let's just have white tiles in here too. Get rid of these white tiles. They can have some nice, you know, build some roads. You can have some nice, you can have some fancy tiles in here. Who doesn't love fancy tiles? Answer, no, everybody. Everybody loves fancy tiles. Yeah, we're just gonna make our yard look very nice. Um, they also need, I think, workbenches. Or not workbenches, some uh, bench presses. Weight benches. In order to like, kind of like increase their happiness with the prison. Yeah, let's put a few in there. We don't need a lot, because we only have seven prisoners, so... Yeah. There's, some, there's six food. There's like seven people. Oh, there's even more food. Now there's seven food. Actually, no, there's a lot more food. You guys have way more than you need, okay? Yes, yeah, so we got our white towels in here. I mean, it's still absolutely disgusting. Now we can also get our nice hardware floor in our offices. Look at it. Look how, look how nice. Look how nice this looks. It looks wonderful. You guys have lovely offices. Okay. This guy, you, don't, you know you shouldn't just hang it on the road, right? You know that's a little bit dangerous. But whatever. So we got most of our cells. 7, 728. We'll probably wait till new prisoners arrive in the morning. Uh, oh, we also can um, actually hire some...
janitors. I thought I already got cleaning. How's it in progress? What else are we doing? Oh, we don't we don't have a maintenance guy yet. Okay, well that was kind of silly of me. You know, go like this, just to have a hallway in here. Get this done. Uh, we're not going to put in our entrance yet. We have to wait for the entire thing to be finished and then, you know, break down the store. Yeah, I probably should have realized that we needed the uh, foreman in order to actually get that done. Maybe there'll be some trucks actually bringing supplies now. I don't know they have enough supplies. I don't know where they got the supplies from, but apparently they have it. And why do our guards hang out in, like, the worst places ever? Yeah, so let's just get uh, psychology. Because I think we can do this because our warden can just do it right now. Uh, finance, l land expansion, extra grants. Yeah, getting in one extra grant would be nice. It'll get us a little bit more money. I just hate how dark this prison is. We have, like, no idea what's going on anywhere. Because five of our guards, or three of our guards are over here. Well, we have six guards. Two guards are here, two guards are back here, and two are in the kitchen. For no apparent reason. And we can't do anything because we require deployment. We can't actually put them anywhere. And I think this is done now. Oh, apparently we're getting a text. Or I'm getting a text. Oh, we... Yeah, and that should fill in. Yeah? Awesome. Uh, wait, I get rid of this plan. Because I already know it works. That'd be four. That'd be four. Yeah. And I think, you know, I think it's actually a good time to end the episode where we are. So thank you everybody for watching. My name's been Anthem. If you have enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you did not enjoy, you can uh, thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.